Transport has been a major factor in the development of regional growth and employment. From road to rail, sea to sky, the UK has embraced a variety of large and sometimes costly transport developments. Roads in the UK can often feel congested, so in 2014 the government unveiled a £15 billion road investment strategy to increase capacity and, in turn, improve the conditions of the roads. This strategy would mean the development of thousands of construction jobs, which would, in turn, have knock-on effects for the local and regional economies. 100 new road schemes were announced, along with 1,300 miles of new lanes being added to existing motorways to reduce congestion. Smart motorways were also developed to guide traffic more efficiently. The A303 is the main route to the southwest into the popular holiday destinations of Devon and Cornwall, but traffic can be stop-start due to the stretches of dual and single carriageway that alternate en route. Peak times, especially during the summer months, can create heavily congested and slow, frustrating journeys. The South West Superhighway, a £2 billion road widening project, is the biggest to be undertaken over the next 10 years. It will create hundreds of construction jobs and, in turn, knock-on jobs in the area. It will convert the route to dual carriageway, whilst improving connecting routes, thus creating a superhighway all the way to Plymouth and beyond. Railways are vital transport links within the UK and improvements are desperately needed to make the links more efficient. High Speed 2, known as HS2, is a £50 billion plan to connect London with Birmingham, then Sheffield, Leeds and Manchester with a high speed line. Although many are for the plan due to shorter journeys, the many new jobs that the construction will create, the better transport links and a better long-term environmental impact through removal of freight through the roads, many are also against the plan. The cost is enormous. The time it will take to build is expanding all the time, with the plan being well behind schedule already. The impact on the countryside will be huge as it cuts through ancient forests and farmland, and people's homes will have to be demolished for the plan to go ahead. In the UK, the furthest point from any coast is 84 miles, so ports are incredibly important for us as a seafaring trading nation. Many of our ports have different functions, with around 32 million passengers travelling through our ports each year. Investment in the ports is vital to meet the new demands from bigger and advanced shipping. For example, the container terminal in Liverpool, known as Liverpool 2, opened in 2016 at a final cost of £400 million. The Deepwater Quay on the River Mersey allows larger container ships into dock, thus doubling the port's capacity to over 1.5 million containers per year. This should increase jobs in the area, whilst the knock-ons will boost the economy of the northwest. It should also reduce road freight by allowing goods to arrive closer to their final destination. Finally, there's air transport. Airports provide vital international links, which are of great importance for the UK. They also provide thousands of jobs and help boost local economies. Heathrow is the UK's busiest airport and in 2015 a government report recommended that a third runway should be built in order to increase capacity. The third runway would provide more jobs directly and for the local economy and bring in more money for the UK in general. But many were sceptical, particularly those living nearby who would suffer from increased noise. Environmental pollution from increased air traffic, not only in the London area but also globally, was another concern for many. In December 2020, the UK Supreme Court ruled that the third runway strategy could go forward to the planning stage, but whether it actually gets constructed is still to be seen. Transport is critical to economic growth and success, and the UK will continue to face challenges in creating successful transport strategies for the future. Music